Stop number 20 on the Internet CRA. Hunt Brothers Pizza Truck Series brings us to South Boston Speedway in South Boston, Virginia. As we're set for 76 laps of racing on this two on this point four mile racetrack. Four tenths of a mile, I should say, here. That one of the shortest tracks we run on the second, actually second shortest, second shortest only to the Colorado National Speedway, the Speedway where we were at earlier this season at, which is that which that track is three eighths of a mile long. So we'll set see what happens here today. Um, on the pole for this race here for today's event, it is number 94, Gene Samper, and the number 94, Super 8 Motels Ford. She's alongside number 29, Johnny Gardner, and the team Mopar Dodge. Second row has Kyle Matthews in 52 and, and Levi McIntyre, number 99. Both of them carry in-truck cameras in today's race. Third row has number 16, Charles Samper, and number 18, Stephen Cologne. Next row down has number 6, Nathan Hudson. He's been on a tear. He's, he's been on tear as of late. He's alongside number 21, Quentin Moore. Next row has number 87, Cassie Dent, and number 98, Joshua Osborne. Next row down has number four, Jessica Shelton, and number 75, Zachary Fitzwater. Next row down has number three, Cole Deaver. He has our third in truck camera today in the GM Goodwrench Chevrolet. And number 88, it is it is Zachary it is, it is Zach Winkle. Next row down has number 28, Keith Batson, and number 43, Mike Becker. Next row down has number 48, Paul Minnick. He's alongside number five, it is Phil Parker. Then it's number 17, Robbie Bogues, and number 25, Seth Cole. Next row down has number 44, it is Matt McIntyre, and number 83, James Sykes. Next row down has number 2. Next row down has number 2, Dylan Young. And one number below him, number one, Henry Williams in the Sears Die Hard for Chevrolet. Next row down has number eight, the Adelco Remy Chevrolet of Matt Haas. He's flanked by number seven. It is Logan Williams in the XI Marys Ford. <clears throat> Next row, Jesse Turner, number 80, two-time winner this season so far. The LCI Ford and number 62, Roberto Crown Jr. in the Nap Auto Parts Dodge. Next row down has number 30, Rob Evans, the winner at California, and number 49, Josh King. Next row down has number 81, Scott Upton, and number 60, Daniel Bouchard. And it's number 38, Dexter Black, in the Channel Lock Ford, and he'll be alongside number 19, that is Sebastian Dents. Then next row down has number 50, Kat Batson, and 86, Cass or Ty Dents, excuse me. And starting shotgun the field will be number 24, Nathan Ormond, and number 06, it is Mitchell Collins sitting alongside. This track here, four tenths of a mile in length here at <coughs> here, here at South Boston Speedway in South Boston, Virginia, home of the Burton Brothers, by the way. There, of course, as you all know, that's Jeff and Wood Button. <laughs> Wood Button, I should say. Um, here, so. So that all being said here, 38 trucks are lined up for some racing here today. And here comes as the commands about to be given to fire the engines here in just a few seconds from now. Again, in truck camera today, today will be carried by Cole Deaver, Kyle Matthews, and Levi McIntyre. As as we're heading down to the last few races of the season here, as we as counting this race, we have seven races left to go on the season. Six after this one here at um, South Boston Speedway. So as we mentioned, the round, season rounds the far turn and heads and is around, starting around the far turn and heads for home. Here this season, here comes the command to fire the engines. Man's been given the party inches as we get some racing here today. Is <clears throat> excuse me as the field rolls up a pit as the pace truck leads the field all leads the field around for a pace lap. We'll be back for the start of the race right for this. Pace truck is leading the field um, on the back stretch here as Gene Sanford and Johnny Gardner are leading down the start finish line here. A Ford and a Dodge on the front row for this race here. Pace truck leads is off on the pit road as the green flag's about to fly. And boy, what a start Johnny Gardner's going to get here. And he beat Gene Samford to the start-finish line. But Gene took the lead back, though, as they come off turn number two under the backstretch. <coughs> as Kyle Matthews goes to second place here. Third right now, going to... Charles Samper, and I think Johnny Gardner, I think, got penalized on its start, I think. 
Yes, he did. Johnny Garner did get penalized. Ah. So that happened here as Jean Saber goes back to the top spot here. She's now <coughs> still leading after about third three laps in this race here. Fourth, second position is Kyle Matthews. Third position, as I mentioned, is Nathan Hudson. Fourth is Levi McIntyre. And fifth position is Cassie Denton, the 87, with Jessica Shelton running in sixth position in the Team ASC Ford. Jess, if you remember, dominated the race at Richmond, the last race on the tour we brought to you. Started from the pole and led every lap in that race. Here as she, as she is running in sixth position, the green and yellow flag has flown for the first time here today. And it's Phil Parker, the number five DuPont Automotive Chevrolet. And Phil... Brings it back to the, to the caution flag here. He still saying, still stays on the lead lap. And oh, we got a bunch up in there. Henry Williams in the one truck. He has spun, looks like, in the, in the Sears Die Hard Chevrolet. And he was another one that was involved right there with the... Um, with Parker, and let's take a look at what happened. Phil Parker looks like he got loose, come off the second corner, looks like. It was he and the 83 truck of, um, of, um, James Sykes. Take a look as to what happened here. Parker leans on the 83 truck a little bit right there. He tries to correct it here. He, gets, he bounces off the 25 of Seth Cole and right, rides the wall a little bit right there. Henry Samper had no, or Henry... Williams had nowhere to go right there, but right into the five truck. Roberto Crown Jr. involved here. Danny Bouchard got a piece of it, as did Ty Denton. Then there's where Logan Williams, I think, also got a piece of it too. That number seven truck. Take a look, take a look at what happened there too. And there, see, there's where there's where the one of Williams got into Parker. And Logan Williams they got into Henry's truck right there and it sent him into the turn three wall. And then caused the log jam up there just a little bit right there in the back of the pack right there. And oh, and Henry Williams gave Phil Parker a tap right there in the back right there just um, for no, for some inexplicable reason. And Williams, I'm, and I'm just, I'm sure Parker a bit PO'd at Henry Williams right now, and and well, and here's what happened to Henry was in the one truck. Henry comes right up there, tries to, and he it's at the back of the seven truck of Logan Williams, and that sent him around for some reason as well too. So there is the one of Henry Williams as he's trying to make his way back around the the around to the leader right here as the pace truck is already on the pit road. As we restart here on lap number 11 here at South Boston Speedway, it is Gene Sanford, your leader. Second is Kyle Matthews. Third is Nathan Hudson. Then Levi McIntyre and Cassie Dent, the top five. Matthews dives on the low side, tries to get past Sanford for position here. That's for the lead. This is not Charles he's battling with this time. It's, it's Charles' sister, Jean, he's battling with this time here in the 94 truck. Ford on the outside, Chevy on the left side, and Kyle Matthews goes to the lead here at South Boston Speedway. And Hudson gets a little bit loose right there as he as he gets attacked from behind by Levi McIntyre. Meantime, Jessica Shelton making her way through the field. She gets by Cassie Dim for fifth. Keith Batson following suit in the 28 truck, as is Matt McIntyre, Cole Deaver in there, and whoa, Stephen Colonna and Charles Sanford getting a little bit, doing a little Virginia two-step right there, I'll come off turn number four, and somebody in the wall looks like it turns, and also the 49 of Josh King, he's damaged up a little bit right there. On Seth Cole is upside down in the 25 truck. So second caution flag of the day flying on lap number 14. And 
and Seth was not even the cause of the yellow flag here. Let's take a look at what happened again. Coming off the... Coming off turn number two. Jesse Turner got tapped by Joshua Osborne in the 98 trucker. Sends him into the wall. Osborne gets into the wall as well too. Rob Evans just missed in that 30 truck. But here comes Seth in the 25. And he's going to go right into Jesse Turner's truck. Actually, actually comes to his desktop originally in the uh, before hitting Jesse Turner's truck. Then Seth got nailed by the 49 of Josh King and sent Seth upside down in the 25 truck. So Seth was actually just actually had the wreck avoided until he got hit by the 49 truck. So and poor Jesse Turner, when it rains and pours for him, it's either famine or feast for that number 80 team. It either wins or it has a bad run. It seems like so. Um. So bad luck for the number 80 LCI Ford as he um, as he tries to make it back, back around, around the start finish line here. It's, I'm sure he's not pleased with that 49 truck meter of uh, Josh King as is uh, also Seth Cole is not pleased with him as well too. The 86 of Ty Dent getting off of pit road as, after an unscheduled stop. Ty running 37th right now in the number 86 Royal Crown Four or Royal Crown Dodge. Sebastian Dent's on pit road for an unscheduled stop himself as well, and I think he's and I think he's uh, joined back in the race here. But anyway, uh, race start happening on lap number twenty. It'll be Kyle Matthews the leader. Second position is Levi McIntyre, Nathan Hudson third, Gene Samper in fourth, and Jessica Shelton right behind her in fifth. Green flag back out. We're back underway, and oh, we got we got a crash on the restart. Well, I thought we had. I thought I heard. I thought I heard metal. I thought I heard crunching happening right there on the restart. But uh, well, no harm, no foul right there. But um, I thought we had a wreck on the restart. But anyway, so things going okay so far right here. Three Y going on right there. Yeah, there is three Y here. Almost four Y there. Cassie did. They almost made a risky move right there in the inside. Come on, turn number four. But now it's her, Matt McIntyre, and Nathan Hudson, Jessica Shelton, getting around all of those trucks here. Jess moves in the, I think, fourth position now. As she now chases Levi and Kyle, so that's actually, that's actually Jess is now third. Cassie moves inside now of Matt McIntyre. Here comes number 28, Keith Batson. Winner this season at, um, uh, winner, here. Here, winner at a couple races this season here to the 28 Napa United Ford. Laps here very quick to complete as complete as you as you pretty much see here at South Boston Spirit. And whoa, Cole Deaver got way loose coming off turn number two. And now he, Cologne, and Matt McIntyre gets a little bit. Oh my gosh. Cologne and McIntyre got a little bit cozy coming off that fourth corner. Deaver says, out of my way, you two, and he <laughs> moves inside of both the 18 and the 44 trucks, and Cole Deaver making his way through the field nicely in the number three Goodrich Chevrolet. Moves him up to seventh place right now in the number three machine as we jump inside Cole Deaver's truck. We'll be up on Cassie Dent, the 87 truck, as, she, as uh, she's in sixth position, Deaver in seventh. Now I'm trying to get inside Nathan Hudson in the sixth machine right there. That's fifth, six, and seven. You're riding with on the screen right there. Beaver trying to get by both those trucks here. They come off the second corner. Who's at the racetrack right now as he gets to tries to get alongside Hudson in the number six machine? Hudson slips a little bit going into turn number one. Beaver. Sticks it down in there and then takes it and takes position away. That's sixth position that the, the three truck just took. And meantime, bat, meantime, change for the lead has happened. Levi McIntyre now has, has gone to first place. Second position is now Matthews Shelton now trying to get around. Kyle for third for second position. Badson running in fourth spot in the 28 truck. Gene Samper running in sixth, Nathan Hudson seventh, eighth is Rob Evans, ninth is Charles Samper in tenth position. Is now Matt McIntyre comes Nathan Ormond 
for the last night. Foreman started this race in 37th, and he is up to third. He is up to 11th position at number 24 GMAC Chevrolet. Keep your eye on that 24 truck. That truck may be one of the best in the field, possibly. There you see the trucks out of the race there. Sebastian Dent, um, Josh King, Seth Cole, and um, Johnny Gardner. Oh, Sanford got a little bit loose going into in turn number three right here. As you see the field run down right there, 31 trucks on the lead lap here. Three trucks are not on the lead lap. This is 80 to 60 and this 86 truck. The fast sub race so far is indeed Nathan Orman at 99.896 miles per hour. Almost 100 miles an hour a lap here at South Boston. Very fast for a 4 tenths mile racetrack here. Matt McIntyre behind him running in 11th position here. Orman up to 10th. Robbie Bogues in 12th. 13th is now Paul Minnick. 14th is Sanford. 15th right now is the Stephen Cologne. As he tries to hold off Dylan Young and the 81 truck of Scott Upton. As they come out the fourth turn here. And James Sykes, James Sykes running in 18th. 19th is Matt Haas and Zach Winkle. Running in 20th, Joshua Osborne trying to move his way up back up to the field in 21st position. Osborne had the second fastest lap of the race so far. Only behind Ormond. A pair of blue trucks battling it out right there. One's a Chevy, the other a Ford. So, obviously, if you look, obviously, if you look at this track here, the inside lane, the inside group is obviously the fastest way around here of this track here. The preferred, the preferred group, I should, I should say, here at South Boston Speedway. Phil Parker make, uh, trying to struggle, trying to struggle along in back there in the number five truck here as Mike Becker tries to go around him in the 43 truck. And there's your leader of the race here, Levi McIntyre. Jessica Shelton is now taking second place from Kyle Matthews, who has now dropped into the fifth position now, as he's now trying to get past, as he's now trying to keep him help from getting passed by Gene Samper in the 90, in the 94 truck. Sanford in the 6th position, Deaver now back to 7th, then it's, then it's Evans, Hudson, and Foreman, the top 10. Completing 44 laps now in the books here, and we're down to 32 to go here at South Boston Speedway. It's Levi McIntyre. You're on board with him with the 99 truck. Has the lead here today, looking for his first picture of the season. Whoa, he and Jesse Turner got a little bit close going on that fourth turn. Levi just about cost himself a position right. That's about cost himself the lead right there. And I'll tell you what, a track this short right there and you're running speeds that fast, uh, it's almost like. Well, almost like the equivalent of running at Bristol, though you run so fast around that track there, except and you're so dizzy you don't know which you don't know which side of the track you're on, and you don't know which lap you're on neither. Difference is, of course, Bristol's a half mile track at, at high as a half mile high bank track. This is a four tenths mile relatively flat track, but a slight bit of banking in the turn zone, and of course that's why the that's why the high speeds were were seen here today. And as opposed to a track like Colorado National Speedway where we were on earlier this season, that little 3 8 mile race track here, which will be back on the tracks they scheduled, by the way, next season. Uh, for um, That little track here, we saw about speeds of around 80 miles an hour on that track here. Here, we're seeing almost 100 miles per hour. As we see... Levi McIntyre still holding on to the lead here. Daniel Bouchard being put a lap down. Not a bet, not a good day for the number 60 team, unfortunately for him. And Jessica Sheldon's got no trucks between him, her and McIntyre. So this, this is a battle. So it's basically a battle of raw horsepower now between the 99 and the Ford trucks. Not to mention it also depends on how well McIntyre maneuvers away his way through traffic now. <sighs> As we're now about to close up on the the uh, 20 to go mark here, we're down to 24 now in this race here. So like I said, this track here, very, very quick to click off laps here. Like I said, much like Bristol. 
Margin of, the, margin of the subpar here, less than a second between the 99 and the 4 trucks. Tr trucks. Let's see what it is this time by. It was 95 hundredths of a second. This time it is 96 hundredths. So, so basically relatively the same interval between the front two trucks. Ty Dent now getting around, trying to get around the Quentin Moore truck, the 21 truck. Not a good day for Quentin in the uh, number 21 racing with Jesus Eagle, Majet, Eagle, Eagle Jet Ford. Quentin right now running in the 30th position as now Ty Dent tries to, tries to get around him in the RC Cola Dodge. Dexter Black up ahead of him in the 38 truck here. He is running in. He is running 29th there. Whoa! Actually, I'm not mistaken. Ty Dent is not uh, on the same lap as Quentin Moore. Quentin's actually the last truck on the lead lap right now. But Levi McIntyre is closed up on the back of that 21 truck here. See what happens coming off turn number four here. Uh, Levi still not, still having trouble getting around the 21 truck. And now he's got caught, now he's got to move up to the high side now. He better watch it because Jessica Shelton is closing up in that number four truck. And he's about to the high side. Shelton's on the low side now. Here they come off turn number four. She really closed up. And yeah, I say really closed up. Almost six tenths of a second. Off turn number four, they come here. Shelton for the lead, and she's got the lead that time by. Ah, not quite. M McIntyre nipped her out of the line that time by, but Shelton's going to have the lead going to turn number on three, no doubt, this time. So Shelton takes the lead, and now 16 laps remaining in this race here, but McIntyre's not giving up in that number 99 truck. He's been screwed over so many times this season. It's not funny, pretty much. If it, off in the third turn they come here, and I think I think Levi's truck uh, handling's about almost gone away on that Levi on Levi's truck here. He gets he gets getting, getting kicked to the high side and turns one and two. May it stick this time and turn three and four though. But now Shelton's having a hard time negotiating through the sixty-two and the seven trucks now. And here comes Levi trying to get back at the number four truck, but Shelton says, "No way, Levi! I'm supposed to be the one leading this race." Inside with Levi McIntyre, number 99 here, and he, he knows it's right there. The lead's right there ahead of him, and at number four. And now getting around, trying to get around Roberto Crown Jr. So now that so lap truck is between now the top two trucks, and I wouldn't want. If I'm the one chasing for the win right there. I wouldn't want a lap truck in there. But Levi has may have even bigger tr troubles here because here comes Keith Batson in 28, the yellow truck behind the 38 of Dexter Black. And that's for, that's going to be for position right there if, if Batson gets up to the back of the McIntyre truck. Ten laps to go, nine and a half now here at South Boston. Here comes Batson down low, McIntyre up high as they come off the fourth turn here. Levi had it by about a half a truck length coming across the start finish line, but when you get come off turn number two, it's going to be Keith Batts in the second place, and give a call to Cassie Dent in the 87. She is up the fourth. She's running fourth position. She's run top five, basically all day long here. As uh, well, her and McIntyre got a little bit cozy that they're coming come off turn number four, but anyway, um, but she's giving that Bell Sub Bell Sub Ability Chevrolet a very good ride right now. She is now. Well, she was running fourth. She's now up to third position now. So, give it to Cassie in that spot right there. So, uh, but Kyle Matthews now running behind her uh, in fit in. Are about to take fourth position away from Levi. A couple of Buckeyes going out here, but now Kyle moves inside, wants to take position away from the 87. So, in meantime, the lead is 67 hundredths of a second between Jessica Shelton and Keith Batson, and there's no trucks between those two now. Well, there may be one right there because Henry Williams is about to get um, lapsed by the Ford truck. And Phil Parker up ahead of her as well, too, in the number five. So she's negotiating traffic a little bit better than any of the other lead trucks right now. Three to go, or four to go now, I should say. It'll be three this time by, but Batson... 
has now gotten around Henry Williams, so he's closing up now on Shelton. Let's see what happens off turn number four. Three to go. There you see the spectator be right there. There's how close it is between the four and the 28. Ford's running first and second and fifth right now as, as now Shelton is now getting past the five truck with now two laps to go. She'll see the white flag this time. White flag this time by. She won at Richmond when she dominated that event. She's had, she's got three wins so far this season here. And is looking for her fourth one here in just uh here just about a few seconds from now. The white flag has already weighed. She's a half a five, half a lap away from victory here. Off turn number four comes. She goes off the high side. Batson also got high as well too, but doesn't matter. Checkered flag. Jessica Shelton wins at South Boston. It is two wins in a row for number four for the number four ASC certified Ford. Jessica Shelton brings that truck to victory lane again as she takes two in a row in the state of Virginia. And you can bet she's going to bring that truck to Martinsville about two weeks from now when we come back here when we come over there for the sprint for the for the nighttime race there. But Shelton took the lead with 16 laps left and she never looked back here. The number here, the number four machine goes to victory lane. So 20 races are in the books on the season. Let's take a look at the rest of the finishing order here. Keith Batson comes on second position, and you can't say Keith didn't try in the last couple laps to try to close up, though, but uh, still a solid day for him. Average speed, by the way, 83.599 miles per hour, thanks to those two caution flags that flew earlier in the race here. But um, Keith Batson comes on second. Third position will go to Cassie Dent, a tremendous run for the 87 team. Kyle Matthews did get by Levi McIntyre, so Matthews comes home fourth. McIntyre finishes fifth. Sixth place will go to Cole Deaver. Seventh to Nathan Hudson. Eighth to Gene Samper. Ninth to Nathan Orman. After starting 37th in the field. So an excellent day for Nathan in this race here. And Stephen Colon with a solid day finishing in 10th position. Paul Minnick comes home in 11th. Rob Evans 12th. 13th Dylan Young. Zach Winkle was 14th. 15th will go to Scott Upton. And Matt McIntyre, Matt Haas, Mike Becker moved up to 18th after being in the back for much of the day. Excuse me. Zachary Fitzwater was 19th and 20th will go to Robbie Bogues. 21st will go to Mitchell Collins. Charles Sanford, 22nd. Cat Batson, 23rd. James Sykes, 24th. Joshua Osborne, 25th. And Quentin Moore was the last truck to finish on the lead lap, finishing in 26th position. In 26th position. Uh, trucks that were the trucks that were finished a lap or more down here. Uh, Phil Parker was 27th. 28th was Henry Williams. Dexter Black, 29th. Roberto Crown Jr. was the last truck to finish one lap down in 30th. The trucks that finished two laps down were Logan Williams, Ty Dent, Daniel Bouchard, and Jesse Turner. 34 trucks finished the race here today, and 26 of them on the lead lap. So that was so rest of, uh, trucks that finished here today. Uh, trucks that out of the race here, Sebastian Dent, Josh King, Seth Cole, and Johnny Gardner, who started outside pole but jumped the start. <laughs> In that race, and uh, suddenly, and then consequently got penalized, and I think got taken out in a, in a crash somehow, um, or either that or he rage quit. I don't know, but anyway, <laughs> but uh, anyway, but he was the one who finished his unfortunately in the last place here, unfortunately for the 2019. So you can bet he'll try to come back strong at the next race on the tour, which happens to be from the uh, from a, uh, next race on the tour. Which we go from the short track like this here at South Boston to the longest and the fastest at Talladega Super Speedway. And that track, track seldom disappoints anywhere. So that will do it here today at South Boston Speedway. For now, this is, this is River Sinatra 85. It's, and it's, it's been, this has been a production of the MSCRA celebrating 10 years of off on racing at its best. We'll see you at Talladega. Congratulations, congratulations once again to Jessica Shelton, the winner here today at South Boston.